Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name's Joe, where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. Today, I am reviewing the Silvano Evo by Quick Mill, and I'm gonna kinda give a couple of points as I normally do. We're gonna do pros, cons, I'm gonna give you some tech specs, and um, I've made a cappuccino. I'll show you a little bit of the workflow. And then I'll give you my final score. But before we get into the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as it helps me out a lot. So let's do it. Okay, so first up is the tech specs. I'm not gonna really touch on these, like on everything I think is a pro or a con on the tech specs. I'm just gonna list them out. So first up is the boiler. It's a 15 amp, 110 volt boiler at 0.4 liters, which is a reasonable size. It tends to hold um, temperature reasonably good per, with each shot. Uh, next up is the steam boiler, which is actually a thermo block. It's kind of interesting, but we'll talk about that more later. And the water tank that is two liters. All right, just touch on the accessories. You get a tamper. We'll talk about this one later. You get a little uh, brush here to clean the shower screen. You get a shot to clean the porta filter basket, and then you get a single and double wall basket, plus a little coffee scoop. So let's get into the pros. Okay, so the first pro I think is the boiler kind of system. So 0.4 liters for a boiler is not super big, but it's not necessarily small. I think it's probably a good size for this size machine where you can make a couple of shots back to back without losing too much temperature. It's able to recover quick enough to the point where if you put a new, you know, another set of grinds in there, it'll recover the temperature that it lost. The other kind of cool thing about this dual boiler-esque system, it's technically a hybrid system. So the boiler and the um, steam wand is technically using one boiler, but it is actually able to steam and pull a shot at the same time because the steam wand uses a thermo block, which is kind of interesting. I've never seen a system do that before, but I like it a lot that I can do both at the same time. And the other thing about it that I like a lot is that the um, it doesn't seem to have that weird like thump, thump, thump noise that you normally get with the traditional um, uh, thermo blocks like on a Breville or something like that. So there is some kind of magic going on there. I'm not exactly sure how or, or, or how that's going on or why it's going on, but it's, it is a nice system. Okay, another pro here. We have a pressure gauge, which is very nice. It has a little green zone for eight to 10 bars. Another really, really nice thing that this machine has is that the pressure is set to nine bars out of the box. Nobody does that anymore. So it's really nice that you don't have to worry about changing it. It's set to nine bars, at least in my experience. And it's nice that you could see the extraction happening uh, as you're pulling your shot. So, all right, so the next thing up is the cup warmer. I think this cup warmer is actually really nice. It is because of this whole mirror finish here, it, you know, you have to kind of make sure it's always cleaned up because if you leave something wet on there, it'll stain. But it is very hot. I also really like the fact that it has metal around the sides to keep your cups on there. Uh, it has a slight tilt, so if that wasn't there, your cups might fall off. But um, a lot of other companies put plastic here around the rim, and I think that's kind of cheap. It makes the machine look cheap, but this doesn't. It's all metal. It has a really nice, um, you know, build quality. Uh, the next thing is, uh, speaking of build quality and stuff, uh, the look and feel. I think it's, um, I think it's a pretty machine. It's very vintage looking from the drawer pool here to the kind of curved edge, almost like 50s, 40s-esque design. Um, the switches are nice. Um, I, I, yeah, I think overall it's a nice design. It's very mirror finished, I will say that, um, which, you know, some people may like or not like, but I actually like the mirror finish. I think it looks really nice. Uh, the next thing is the drawer. I think it's nice. It's big. It holds a lot of water in here. Um, you, you don't really have to be constantly looking at it and making sure it's not going to overflow like a lot of other machines. So I think that's a kind of nice piece. And then to the last um, two really unique things that I like probably the most on this machine is uh, the PID um, actually has a timer built in. So when you're pulling a shot, you know your time and it goes by a, you know, a fraction of a second even. So it really is a nice feature and obviously it's a PID. So you can set your temperature. 
of your boiler, which helps a lot, especially not only does it help to set the temperature, it also is very nice to know what the temperature of your boiler is. So after you pull a shot, you'll see that you lose some temperature in this machine, but you'll see it recover and you'll know when you can pull another shot. So I think that's a really um, nice piece, especially at the price point of $1,099. Um, and then the last thing is I think the kind of unique feature that's cool is you, on the back of this machine there's a switch so if you want to turn off the steam boiler to save you know electricity maybe you never use it i really don't use mine all that often uh, especially from you know steaming milk it's not something i do that often so it is um, kind of a, a nice feature that you can do uh, the other thing on the steam uh, boiler or steam one i wanted to let you know um, i found that doing about 30 to 40 seconds with this steam wand is uh, about the optimal temperature and time. So that's, uh, you know, pretty fast steam wand as well. It's not like blazingly fast, like some, you know, crazy commercial machine, but it's actually a very quick uh, steam wand. So let's get into the cons. All right, so the first thing on the cons that I wanna bring up, and you know, if you use a bottomless portafilter, it will kind of fix this, but the downside with the bottomless portafilter is it's a lot more messy. Um, but, and this machine doesn't come with one, so you would have to buy it aftermarket. But um, it is similar to the Gaggia, if you're familiar with that machine, in that the distance here is pretty low from the spouts to the actual cup. So this kind of fits. I, I, it's not exactly an elegant way of putting your cup under there. And this is a relatively small cup. It's only about nine ounces. So, um, you know, that's something to think about if you do do a lot of Americanos. And speaking of Americanos, the other downside, I think probably the biggest downside with this machine is that there's no way to get hot water out of it. So you do have to put a cup under it, turn the steam wand on with water already in that cup, and then steam the water to a temperature that you feel is fit, probably about 40 seconds. It's kind of an awkward workflow. It's sort of a Fat, uh, a hack or something like that to get hot water. It works, but it's not exactly my favorite way of getting an Americano. It'd be really nice, especially considering it has a separate thermo block. If they could have just made the switch, like an extra switch or something to get hot water either out of the steam wand or if they put a totally separate thing in here to get hot water. Okay, so now it's gonna start to get a little bit nitpicky as far as the um, cons go on this machine. But the one thing is the water tank. It's a reasonably sized water tank at two liters. It's, you know, reason, it's big enough, especially considering there's no hot water tap on here, but it's kind of awkward to fill. Um, and you, it is visible depending on where you're looking. So like on the right side, you can see this water tank and to fill it up, you kind of have to do this little half thing where you pull it out a little bit and, and put water into it. Um, the tubes that go into it are kind of get it jammed up if you want to, fully remove it. I don't know, depending on how like tight your space is, if you need to remove that a lot. Um, but yeah, it's not my favorite, most elegant design I've seen, but it, you know, it's a nitpicky con. So next up, uh, we have the grate. The grate is, it looks kind of nice, but, um, my wife noticed that the cups get, um, water on them underneath. Whenever you pull a shot, um, especially if, if there's any water like in the grates, they kind of tend to get stuck there. So your cup will get water underneath of it. So yeah, kind of a, a weird thing, but sort of a thing that definitely you might notice when you start to use it and you get coffee stains on anything you put your cup on. The last con is the tamper. This is a very Gaggia-esque tamper. Um, it's immediate replacement please go buy a tamper. They're not that expensive. You spent a thousand plus dollars on the machine, that thousand ninety nine, spend thirty dollars to sixty dollars to buy a nice tamper because this is going to give you a very bad experience. It's concave, it's not it's just not good. So that's that's all of the cons, the pros, the tech specs, the accessories. So I think it is time to finally assess and give a score on this machine. I think the Quick Mill Silvano is going to get an 8.1. I think the machine is very, very good. 
uh, especially for the price. It gives you a lot of value for the money, but I will say the reason why I'm probably why I'm not giving it maybe higher is that it doesn't have a water tank uh, or a, a separate water spout. I really do like Americanos. I make them a lot, and I really don't like the workflow of steaming water. But with all that said, that's still a really high score. I think this is a machine that, you know, especially if you're drinking mostly espresso, this is a really great machine. You're going to love it. Um, it does a lot more than a lot of machines in that price. Something like the Sylvia that's, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars this isn't that much more, maybe three, 400, depending on where you're buying it. Uh, and you're getting a heck of a lot more value. You're getting a, a PID, you're getting the capability of steaming and um, pulling a shot at the same time. You have a pressure gauge to actually evaluate your shot. So I think this just has a ton of value for the money. Um, with all that said, 8.1 is the score. Again, I wanna give a special shout out to Espresso Outlet, who's provided me the machine to review. So thanks again to Espresso Outlet, and don't forget to subscribe and comment and like if you will. See you in the next video.